As I sit here toggling between news updates, designing some art on Photoshop and sketching some doodle that I have no idea what it will become, I'm consciously telling my mind to slow down. Man, this is so bizarre that my gut tells me to not attach to any of the constantly shifting narratives, conspiracy theories, testimonials, rants, raves, jokes, tears, and everything else in between. And yes, this is crazy. I take another sip of my detox tea hoping it will cleanse all the beers I drank last night. So I throw on some Netflix comedy specials in the background so I can get a few laughs as I push through and stay the course. And trust, it's no easy task. But my gut says that it'll all be worth it in the end. I get a ping on the latest death toll and new infections and it cuts through Bill Burr's last laugh like a knife. Then, like magic, I laugh at the next joke. And I feel guilty about that too. I scroll through my Facebook feed and see another meme about positivity and I have two simultaneous reactions. Number one, I pump my fist in appreciation and then two, the feeling of chucking my laptop against the wall comes over me because it feels so corny. Bipolar at best, I get it. But through it all, my gut says to push through and stay the course. I don't know where in this hell I'm going, but I'm listening. I am listening. At 3 a.m., I'm listening. When I don't feel like talking to anyone, I'm listening. In this uncertainty and newness and on this roller coaster ride of what the, I'm listening. You see, at the beginning and end of the day, all we have are our thoughts. Our one heart, brain, two legs and arms and eyes and lungs. Of course, we have family and friends, but we now see how those interactions can very easily have a screen or a monitor or miles between us and them. But we will always have our thoughts. And this is a beautiful realization. Why, you say? Because if I can manage my thoughts and control what I allow myself to feel, I have a much better chance of navigating this space of uncertainty and constant changes. In this way, I'm not burying my head in the sand or being unrealistic in the next steps that I should take. Steps that are one foot in front of the other and not trying to eat the whole pie in one sitting. My gut says to slow down. My friends, we are indeed in Wonderland. However, we got this. As long as we order our thoughts and steps, Keep our loved ones in our hearts and mind and don't overwhelm ourselves with worry and doubt to be sure the most beautiful results have come out of the ashes. Be the phoenix that we are. And now you can either pick up your fist or chuck your laptop against the wall. And either way, you'll still have your thoughts. Peace and blessings, loved ones. We got this.